All right, everyone, today we are talking about hairspray, and this is the best way to use hairspray. So depending on the hairspray, here we have my locked hairspray, and I think that people may have some confusion when it comes to using a hairspray, and here's what happens. A lot of times people will either take this hairspray, they'll put it right on their hair like this, very, very close, and spray it and it just causes a stream of hairspray to go right in one area. So you're getting too close to the hair and the next thing you know, you start running your fingers through it, it gets all sticky and it's just a bad experience, okay? This is basically a liquid, all right? There's, there's, there's water in the hairspray. So when you spray this, it takes time to actually travel to the hair and settle on the hair. Now, some hairsprays are have water as the first ingredient, which means that it's gonna be very, very sticky or almost wet when it hits the hair. And then in my opinion, and through all my years of experience, when water isn't, in a case with this, when water isn't the first ingredient or it's, there's not as much water in it, then that actually performs a little bit better. So you're getting more of a matte type of finish or more powdery type of spray. So in my opinion, that's why they always say, hold the can you know, 10 inches or so from the hair and spray it on. And here's what I suggest. And yes, so with, with any of my hairsprays or the one I have locked, what I suggest doing is after you blow dry the hair fully, okay? You never wanna spray in hairspray, which is a finishing product, as a pre-styling product. You don't spray this in wet hair, you literally spray this in to finish and seal off. Think of this as the, as like the, the final coating on when you're painting. This is the last thing you do to finish off the job, all right? So you get the hairstyle exactly how you want it when in the blow drying process. With the brush, with whatever it is, you, you do your little flipping and you get your, your hairstyle exactly how you want it like this. Once you are happy, okay, you don't wanna go back in once you are done, do not go back in and start messing with it. You have to get it perfect right before you spray in the hairspray. Then, once, as I mentioned before, do not go in up close to the hair like this. Or if you go too far away, you're like way back over here, it's too far. So yes, around 10 inches, a foot or so. I like to go within this vicinity right into here, which is probably about that, right? Let's say within a foot. And I do this. Maybe go in one little touch. I always cover the eyes, right? And I let it settle. If you've noticed, I haven't really touched the hair much. I spray it and let it settle. I'll go big on this side here. I'll keep the distance. Go in and let it settle on the hair. That's it, okay? You set it and forget it. If you have to go in and maybe do a little piecing here and there, but just remember, right, once you spray it and then you start to run your fingers through it and you start to do all sorts of crazy stuff, you're basically going to make that hairstyle collapse. So all that work you did, all that product you used, and also it might feel a little bit damp. So you have to really be careful because if you start right away, like this, this is pretty much almost dry already. Right? That's what makes locked hairspray so amazing. It's basically dry. It's the minute it hits the hair. So you can go back in and work it a little bit and get some of that texture. But if it's more of a wet type of hairspray or you start going too crazy, right? Locked hairspray isn't like a super strong holding. It, it's got a pretty decent hold. Let's say medium to somewhat light strong. But once you start playing around with it, you know, it's going to start to collapse. So depending on the strength of the hairspray, if it's super, super light, once you start touching it, you're done. If it's a super strong hairspray, you may actually start to get flaking in the hair. Um, I, I like an aerosol personally. I've never had a liquid hairspray just because to me it gets very, very sticky. Uh, so the aerosols always work best. But in my opinion, just spray it and leave it. You know, you can always cover your eyes, but just spray, let it settle on the hair, set it and forget it. If you are interested in purchasing any of my products, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20 at shop.theslongout.com. Let me know if this video helped you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.